Thailand, retired and living the dream. So we've just signed up for this house now, so all the documentations and all the formalities are over and done with now. So this is our house. So now we're going to do things to fix this house up, to put our stamp on it, if you like. So I'm going to have a little walk around the house and show you what we're going to be doing, and uh, hopefully follow us along, and we'll show you what we're going to do. So. So I'll just turn the camera. So at the minute we've got a few lorries, somebody's doing some building work, so we've got a few lorries going up and down the street. So sometimes it can be a little bit noisy now. But anyway, the front garden. My wife's going to totally redesign all the front garden. Took all the old plants out, going to put all new ones in. As you can see, we've got a collection of plants and bricks and and all sorts of things to alter the front garden. So that's the main place where we stay outside all the time. We have a, a nice sofa outside and sitting area, eating area. And we've got a connections for my wife to put a hammock on. So, as you can see, we live outside most of the time, it's beautiful here. And then we go into the side garden and we did have a little bit of a termite problem so what I've been doing, I've been digging up the soil and destroying the termite mounds but they still keep coming back so I've got some termite traps or bait. So I'll put them on and hopefully within three months or so that should kill the termite nest. So over here what we've got is what used to be the old water tanks, concrete water tank, uh, but apparently it leaked. So what they did, they got this stainless steel one, put that on top of there. And again, that's not been used for the five years that we've been in this house. So we're gonna, gonna knock this tank down, move this plastic tank over to, to this station here. And when we're on holiday, the landlady got some people in to put a, a water filter for the house and because we weren't here they just sort of just put it anywhere they want but just look at the quality of tradesmen work on there four different screws to hold it to the wall and it's it's loose anyway but look at that the, the pipework going over the the pathway it's like a jumble of a jumble of um pipes going everywhere so we're going to sort all that lot out and when we had the guy to come and have a look at this, his suggestion was just to cut a hole in the path and just bury the pipes. And I said, no, I said, the pathway is lovely. So I don't want to damage the pipe work and I don't want to damage the path. So we're going to move that over to there somewhere. We're going to move everything. And that gives us a little bit more room here. Then we're going to, there were some dead bushes along here. So we've dug all of them lot up. We're going to alter all of them lot. So our fence wants painting as well, so it's beginning to rust up and crumble away, so we're going to repaint all the fence. At the minute we've got a dog run. The dogs come from next door through a little pathway, jump through our fence and run through our garden and use it as a shortcut. So we're not going to have that, so we're going to put some mesh along here to stop the dog from having their freedom roaming around our garden. And you can see the couple of solar panels on there with the solar lights, they work fantastically. So it's brilliant. So like I was saying in the previous video, the, the reason why I like this house, many, many reasons, but them trees up there, the conifers, just remind me of Italy. When I lived in Italy for three months, loads of them trees in the garden. The wall, stone wall, behind here 
reminds me of the Lake District and then the houses and the houses in France, some of the houses that I've seen were all brickwork like this, just lovely. So and the colour of our house reminds me of tropical places like you know uh, Cyprus, all the colours of the houses, beautiful. So that's, there's many reasons why we like this land and that, like this house. So again going down to the back of the house, we have a solar panel that's now broken because the gardener when he cut the grass pebble dashed all the, the panel so I don't know what I'm going to do with that. So then at the back of the house is really I've just been cutting all the pipe work up that's been around tidying the pipe work up and then we have the garden a little bit we might turn this into a little vegetable patch and then my little net house I've got some grapes growing in there at present but not very successfully and then the back of the house we're gonna make into a little shed and storage place to be able to store some of our tools and what's what's good with this house is that uh, the, the people before us put a channel way in so all the rain that comes off this roof instead of flooding all the garden runs down into the channel goes around the back of the greenhouse and carries all the way down there and drain out to the front so what we're going to do to the side of this house is is here before it was full of plants plants that we didn't particularly like and we're going to concrete this so this is going to make a little bit bigger area so we can park our sandlot and just move it a little bit further along the side then that gives us more room here there's my wife making some plants and our little nursery and as you can see by moving that sandlot across to the to the right gives it a little bit more room our garden nursery and all of these three monkeys and again we've got some more plants that we're changing around and going to replant here there and everywhere so this is the side of the house And at the gate, we vaulted, put some bricks that a friend of ours gave us just to make some little borders. So we're just putting our own stamp on it really. Solar light, you know I like my solar lights. We have a solar light lighting up our address of our house. So on the evening time, it just gives an ambient feeling and it's lovely. So as you can see, we, we live in a beautiful location. And this is our view over the road. So as you can see, we live in a beautiful part of the world. I can't complain at all to be able to live in, live the lifestyle here in Thailand. And this is what everybody can do. This is what's open to everybody. So as you can see, quite a big house really shading for the car which is very very important and I, I think it keeps your car cool and it stops the paint from fading so that's just a quick video of the house that we actually bought now all the legal paperwork's been done and everybody's happy and hopefully within a few years this will be ours it'll be all bought and paid for um, I will see out the end of my days living here with a view sat from my sofa out there drinking my coffee and having my toast in the morning what better way to spend your day so from Les retired and living the dream and I am living the dream here in Thailand till the next video Bye for now.